Hello, so now I'd like to talk more about the uh, rewards um, for Kickstarter backers and sort of what our plans were for those. Uh, I know some, some projects sort of get them out of the way at the beginning, uh, which I think has some good advantages, especially with the tax situation. Um, but at least for us, there were a couple of reasons why we didn't do that. Uh, firstly, um, uh, you know, uh, the, we, we wanted to save the money, um, for, you know, the development of the game, and then, you know, when we get some of the free the game payments from Ouya, you know, at chip, and, and, and things like that, we can put those towards rewards, but we basically, or even, you know, our sales towards the rewards, but we basically wanted as much money as we possibly could for just development, which, you know, we're not going to run out of money, we're, we're going to have uh, money for the rewards, but uh, we wanted the option to, uh, you know, devote it all to um, uh, to development, uh, which probably may be where we'll end up, but it's complicated because with the Free the Games fun rules, we get some money like six months after launch, which, I mean, it's good to get the money, but uh, it's... Um, you know, not as helpful as if it were immediate, but certainly they, they want six months of console mobile exclusivity, and so the payment makes sense for, from that perspective. But, I mean, you know, we could take out a, a loan from the bank or something, you know, because we know we'd get the, the money back. But, I mean, you know, I'm hoping to sell Don Zero uh, at launch, so, so so that'll sort of open up some some resources. But but the other reason is just sort of a question of time, and uh, you know uh, so some of the the backer rewards are uh, time consuming. Uh, I know uh, I've talked a, a bit about the the in game portraits and what has gone into making those. <sighs> And it's been a lot of work. We made some poor decisions um, early on, uh, and that was my bad. Uh, I mean, it was kind of just um, running out of time. Like, really, we should have had one uh, finished and done and in the game, you know, for the demo, for the Kickstarter demos, so we knew exactly what it took to make them. Uh, and uh, it turned out we didn't know what it took to make them at all, and so we've actually had to redo them all, like, twice, uh, <laughs> um, because we didn't plan very well for that. Uh, and then, uh, we're probably going to have to redo them one more time to get them at, at print resolution, and uh, then if the, the, the hand-painted ones... Oh, I don't know how we're going to do those, um, but uh, on the flip side, that's sort of a later problem, right? Like, we, we you know, have to finish, uh, you know, the game first, and once we finish that, then uh, it uh, gives us a lot more uh, flexibility for how we spend our, our time, uh, you know, and, and, you know, it's... Uh, Devoting all of our artists' time to the next project um, maybe isn't the best idea anyway. So you know, having them uh, do some art uh, for for the backer rewards. Uh, basically, uh, you know, you have your in-game portraits, and then we're creating them at print resolution, which is a lot of work um, because if you're printing them at any sort of reasonable size, we essentially need to redraw them. Uh, because one of the things that we've had, and, and this is especially true of the backer portraits, is that we have to draw everything to scale. So uh, internally we use like a 4K um, size for our, our screen, which I mean, you know, maybe we could support 4K graphics in the future. Um, uh, but it also gives us a little leeway with scaling things up, uh, you know, because if you just create them at 1080p and then you decide they need to be a little bigger in game, which this happened to me like a few days ago, I'm like, oh, people didn't notice this in the ending. Well, if I make it bigger, then they'll notice it more. And I don't know, I think it is more apparent uh, when I scaled it up larger. But it, it, had I not had it drawn at like 2x the size, then... Uh, when I blew it up, it would look like crap, so, um, uh, authoring, you know, for 2D pixel art at, at twice what you, you think you're gonna need has been a big, uh, win for us, and, um, uh, so, but, but 
the problem is, is, you know, like, I think we do 450 by 600 pixels for the in-game portrait, because we, we tried doing them larger, but then, you know, the artists always do a lot of details, uh, which turn into gray blobs, which is totally not the art style. So, basically, actually, maybe we do them even smaller than 450. I don't know. I think that's the size we do them at for in-game. And so, like, that's definitely not going to scale up to any sort of poster uh, in a reasonable size. Like, that's, uh, like, three-fourths of an inch by an inch at print resolution. <laughs> So, we could print those at a postage stamp, uh, uh, I guess maybe, maybe we could use 300, uh, DPI, uh, probably, probably that'd be okay. Uh, so, so fine, like, an inch and a half by two inches, we could make you a button or something. Uh, so we're gonna have to redraw them, like, a third or fourth time to, to do the printing, um, but it's it's really great that we don't have to do that until after we finish the game, uh, because, well, I mean, <laughs> technically we were supposed to deliver all the rewards on the date we specified, but I feel like I've been pretty upfront about the the rewards, and, and if not, then surprise, the rewards are not getting done until we finish the game. Um, which I think was a good choice, and and I mean, like, you know, I think, uh, like, it, it to some extent, it makes more sense, and, and because, like, uh, I got my Broken Age, or no, I got my Double Fine Adventure t-shirt, which just says Double Fine Adventure, and it's like, now that I play Broken Age and it blew my mind, I'd much rather have a Broken Age t-shirt, but Broken Age didn't exist when they sent out the t-shirt, so, uh, so that, that sometimes presents uh, interesting, uh, interesting, you know, sort of chicken and egg situ situations where you don't have the content to put in the back of rewards until you finish the game. So, I mean, I think we could do a better poster now when we have more uh, art and more idea of what the game looks like and what, what might be cool to put on a poster. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't given the posters... A second thought. Well, maybe a couple thoughts here and there. And and mostly, my thoughts are just, what the hell are we going to put on the poster? <laughs> but, I think we'll figure something out. Uh, I think we can do something cool. Um, so, anyway, I guess this is a really long-winded way of saying that... Um, your backer rewards are only coming uh, once you um, or once we once we finish the game. You know, then we'll come up with a design for a T-shirt and figure out where to print them and uh, all that stuff. 